Right, yeah, before we get properly started, I'm just going to have to say that my air conditioning unit is on. And I'm sorry if it makes too much noise. I will try and cover it as much as I can with sound, music, all that shit. But it is what it is. It's too warm in here to not have it on. Had that off for about five minutes. Sweating buckets. So, it's a big no-no. Has to be on. Sorry, again. Yes, this is a review of Quake. And yes, there will be spoilers. The Quake was originally released on the PC in 1996 from Ed Software, their much anticipated follow up from Doom 2. It was meant to be, as I understand it, an RPG. But the higher ups went, no, that's too different. We need something that resonates with a Doom audience. So you've got this. This is, for you know, all intents and purposes, Doom's more sinister Lovecraftian cousin. I only briefly played Quake back in the 90s on PC. I think I've still got the original PC version. And if you're, you know, if you want and you've still got it, put the disc in, uh, like a stereo, or a, you know, anything that plays music basically that's disc based, and you'll get Trent Reznor's original score for fuck all. God, imagine I'm doing something like that now, it'd be microtransactions. Want the soundtrack? Well, you'll need to buy the super special edition that costs £555,000. What'd you get in it? A steel case and a soundtrack CD. Actually, no, scratch that. It's cheaper if we just give you the digital fucking soundtrack. What else do you get? Nothing. Go fuck yourself. It's just about the size of it with these uh, collector's editions these days. <laughs> collector's editions are fucking expensive and uh, I don't see a reason for it, personally. There's just less in the box. Less in the box. It's like, look at the, the Resident Evil fucking collector's editions. Resident Evil 2 came in a nice like chest, like a fucking safe chest you get in the safe room. Had nice things in it. Had metal key replicas of all the, the heart and club and all that shit. And then it came with a nice statue of Leon and a like, soundtrack and fucking pins. Then you get the remake of Resident Evil 3 and it's got the same sort of box, but there's just a little bit less in it. There's a map. There's a lovely statue of Jill. And that's it. There's not even a steel book. And then you go to Resident Evil 8 and it's like even less. It's like it's got a fucking map and it's got Chris and the box is worse. And it's more expensive. <laughs> Or it's run up the same price. Anyway, that's a rant about fucking something else I should be doing in another video. Never mind this one. Quake is what we're talking about here, so let's let's uh, continue with Quake and it's fucking up. I've been waiting for this to happen for fucking years! Like buccaneers, fucking years! A, a long, long time. I've been on Twitter like, every fucking 12 and a half days going, when am I getting Quake in the consoles, you fucking arseholes? When are we doing it? And then there was somebody, it's like, oh, we are making it, but couldn't tell anybody at the time. And, you know, these N, uh, uh, the, 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 what are the fucking, I can't get the words out, I've had half a pint of beer and I'm fucking MDs. The term you're looking for, Mr. Cracks, is MDA, a non-disclosure agreement. Oh, thanks. Aye, that's what I was looking for. Where did that come from? That was weird, was it? Anyway, so, it's here finally, which also lends to a bigger hope that they're going to, you know, come back with a, a revamped version of Quake, not that Quake champion shit. And actually, I'm really glad that tanked, because if that hadn't a tanked, we might not be sitting here with a, a remaster of Quake. And I, I think that's... Uh, so thank you, Quake Champions, for being shite. And uh, thank you again for um, bringing this wonderful fucking game to us. This is it's Night Dive Studios that did this. I'm pretty sure they did the, the Turok remakes and various other things. I think they're doing remakes of like Shadow Man and... It was a remake of something else, I forget what it is. I hope, hopefully the Shadow Man remake will be out soon for the consoles. It's only out for the PC right now. Mistake. But there you go. It's never really a PC game. I remember that when it came out in the consoles all oh, those years ago. But the belter about Quake is, is the gameplay is as solid as it was back in 1996. It's like Doom, it didn't really need a lot of tuning in the gameplay department. It just has better textures and it runs at a smoother pace. Well, the only console versions of Quake we had was the N64 and the Sega Saturn version. Never played the Sega Saturn version, wish I'd known about that at the time, but never mind. At least I got a good version of Quake, I got a really horrible version of Doom. Oh, fucking hell, really bollocks version of Doom. Not the worst, just not the best. I think I got the best version of Quake out of the two console ones. From what I've seen, I like the N64 one. So what have you got here? You've got the main game. 
and then you've got four add-on packs, which the two add-on packs that came out back in the day, was a Desolu Desolution of Eternity and some other thing. And then there's Machine Games, they had their hand in this. And they've released two add-on packs, two new add-on packs. I think they were released with the 20th anniversary edition of the PC version of Quake. Speaking of PC versions of Quake, if you own the base version of Quake on the PC on Steam, you will get this remaster for fuck all. Hee haw! Nothing. Big fan of that. And yes, the console version is just the PC game, only zipped up. Like I said, textures, frame rate, sound effects, all that shit. Brilliant. Smashing! So this came out for the Xbox One, PC, PS4, slash PS5 through backwards compatibility, and the Nintendo Switch. And they all run at 60, as they bloody well should. I've not played any other version other than the PS4 version on backwards compatibility via the PS5, and it's amazing! It's just, I just love the design of the game, it's so fucking dank and dark, and it's got sci-fi elements, and it's got fantasy elements, and... I'm just like, fucking this is brilliant, and I'm actually, and this could be the excitement talking of having this fucking game finally available. For me, the console plebeian, is I think I'm enjoying it more than the original Doom. I never really got my teeth stuck into Quake that much, I, I played it briefly in PC when I was younger, but I've never really sat down and went, tuned into it, fucking lovely, in you go, but I've been doing that all of Saturday and summer, Friday night. And I'm just, yeah, well tuned in, loving it. I'm about halfway through the third act, there's four acts in total. And I'm just, whoosh, the boss encounter that I've encountered was total shite. Though I, wish they, I really wish they hadn't bothered. I'd rather just have had another really well designed level of enemies and then it ends, because they did that in the second chapter. There is no boss. You just finish the chapter. The level design is great in this game. It's it's just, I, I, I don't know what it is, there's, there's less levels, I'm like, I don't really like this level, and I know I've played it brief, only played it briefly, well, for a few hours, first time through properly, but the level design is on point, I like it, there's, there's nothing that I've come across from, like, Christ, I don't really fancy playing that level again, I'm like, I think I'll just fucking start again from the beginning as soon as I'm finished, no, I won't be able to play the DLC, you know, I'll bring a video out about those, those four packs, but that'll be later down the line, just basically whenever I can be asked. So what about, what about these monsters then? Monsters, there's some you'll probably recognise, because they're very similar to Doom. Like the Grunt, that's got a basic rifle, looks like the Grunt out of fucking Doom. But then you've got dogs, which are Rottweilers, which, yeah, people are get upset at killing dogs, and it's just a game, people they don't look real. They look like they're made out of squares and triangles, does that sound real to you? And by the way, it's attacking you, even in real life, you're like, oh, I love dogs, I love dogs, I wouldn't harm a dog, but see if it's going to bite my bollocks off. You're damn right my foot's going through its face. Anyway, moving on, and then you've got these flying creatures that make a, a really creepy <sighs> noise, and I'm like, <sighs> fuck's that? Somebody breathing in a window writing fucking lewd comments. No, it's a demon, and it shoots what only can be described as little acid pellets. I don't know what these things are called, but I only know some of the enemies in this. And they go, <sighs> And then they fucking fire the wee green fish at you and brilliant. You've got a thing called a knight, which is just a wee ghoul with a fucking sword, and they get replaced by the hell knight really quickly, and then you never see the normal knight again. Or I haven't. Then you've got the mainstay of the, the, the enemies, which is the ogre. You'll see these mostly in the game. Hunters are the bastards. And they've got a chainsaw in one hand and a grenade launcher in the other. You've also got zombies, which you can only kill via explosions, or if you have a quad damage on, and they just go pop, and it's very, oh, it's so satisfying, so satisfying, it's fucking brilliant. What else have you got? You've got a fiend, who it looks very similar to a pinky, but it's a lot harder than a pinky, it's about three times as strong, and it can jump. Wonderful. Because we're in full 3D now, and things can come off the map, and not just awkwardly slide everywhere. You have very strange zombie fish. And they'll only be found, you guessed it, in water. You've got the Shambler, which is like a big boy's, like, not quite as tough as a Cyber Demon, but he's a big boy. He's got big fucking three fingered chib hands and he shoots lightning at its stomach or something like that. They're a bastard, I hate them, but they're fun to fight against. Nah, not really. 
They're a bastard, I hate them, I'll go with that one, that's bad, uh, aye yeah. Then you get the thing called, it's a four-legged beast, I think it's called a boar, and it'll shoot a homing, sort of, I don't know what it is, it's like a collection of squares and fucking triangles that are purple, and, and it's like, just imagine if the Revenant's rocket could follow you, like, tightly around corners, like, properly follow you. That's what this thing is, and it's a f I hate it. I've probably forgotten about something, but who cares? Oh yeah, the, 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 the wispy ghost thing can fly. Bastard. And you'll see, it's just like, there's a lot more satanic imagery in this game, which is... Love it or hate it, I think it's cracking, because it sets the fucking scene. Like I said, this is a darker, more sinister version of Doom, and it is. There's just no story to it that I can really see, or I don't know what was going on, but... It comes down to that when you get cracking gameplay, Amazing enemy design, amazing level design, and really satisfying gun combat. Gives a fuck what the story is. You're there to slaughter things, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slaughter things. It's a more powerful version of the, the sort of the grunt. Then you got a boss. The bosses aren't even worth fucking mentioning. One's a lava man that gets killed after you hit it three times with electricity for some reason. Guns are cool as well. Start off with an axe and a shotgun, no pistol, fuck that, so it's a shotgun start for every fucking chapter. But you get the double barrel quite early on, it's actually a secret area in the first level. And you just, yeah, yeah, I use that. Not entirely, because there's some enemies that take far too long to kill with it. And you just end up chasing your tail for too long. But it's still a, for most, like, from like, the grunt, to the fucking wispy thing, to the ogre, to the fiend, in the night. Somewhat the hell knight is useful for, but it's useful for everything else b below that sort of tier. Your, your, your roars, forget it, you'll need, like, a lightning gun. Or the rocket launcher, grenade launcher, anything that it fucking explodes, but you need to move fast so you can avoid this thing's tracking shots and they're just a pain in the tits because they follow you like fuck. I had two of them running around after me in circles, like how the fuck do I get rid of these things? I know you can run them into a corner but they follow you really tightly, it's like, it's not a vague homing, it's like up your arse. It's like the cops in fucking Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, they're right up your fucking arse. So what you've got is just like, it's a retro action shooter and it's fucking great, there's even multiplayer and you can use bots. You can use bots in the multiplayer, so if you just want to practice m movement, playing with your guns, shooting things, go and fire on some bots. That doesn't happen enough in these days, that just does not happen enough. So I'm really, I'm really chuffed that they've done that. And the Pierre de Resistance, the, 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 the de Resistance, is that right? I fuck, who cares? Is the fact that you can download an add-on for this in the add-on section in the main menu, by the way, that turns all the graphics in the N64 graphics. Isn't that wonderful? Now you can play the game, what it would be like to view it as a fucking bloody, bleeding, bright-ass, bollocked potato. Yes. Now, I don't know if the achievements are defunct with this mode on. They might be. They might not be. I don't know, no, no, no. I just captured a wee bit of footage because I noticed that in the add-on sections. I thought, oh, add-ons, that means we'll get the, the add-ons that came out for it, you know, back in the day. But uh, no, they were already included in that. I didn't know at the time. And now you've got the N64 version. Fucking hell. Enjoy the N64 version if you're brave enough. That might be a wee playthrough, you know. Later down the line, because it looks like shit. And bloody shit at that. It's a really fucking brilliant package and it was like 8 quid. You know, most digital games, even remasters, they come out at like 20, 25 pounds, which is still worth it for this actually, because it's really well done, but just the fact that you're getting it for 8 quid. Get it bought. Get it bought now, because I'm fucking telling <laughs> Or fucking Shambler Balls will be around to teabag you tonight and zap you with his electric fingers. Right, I'll see you all next time. Bye!